Hey there, have you ever wondered if your favorite celebrities have a secret life as football club owners? Well, today we're diving into the glitzy world where fame meets the pitch. From Hollywood to the music charts, these stars aren't just scoring on screen. Stick around till the end, we've got a surprise owner that'll leave you cheering. Kicking things off with a legend who traded the stage for the pitch. Sir Elton John, the musical maestro, made headlines not just for his tunes, but also for being the owner of Watford not just once, but twice. As a lifetime fan of the Hornets, he said the club made him fall in love with football. How sweet! What sweeter is that not only does he have a stand named after him at Vicarage Road, but the street to the side of the stadium was officially changed from Occupation Road to Yellow Brick Road in homage to his 1973 album as it was released the same year he took over. Just a quick reminder to leave a like and subscribe. By doing so, you increase the chances your club gets bought by a megastar and land a nice cash injection. The next example is arguably the most high-profile example on this list. It is none other than Golden Bulls himself, David Beckham. He pioneered the way for the growth of American football when he left the Spanish supergiants Real Madrid in 2007 for LA Galaxy, becoming the first big-name player to make the move. Cleverly, he negotiated into his contract that upon retiring he could found his own team. And so, in 2018, Inter Miami was established. It's been a huge success for David as he's managed to attract players such as Messi, Busquets, Alba and most recently Suarez, reuniting the old prime Barca teammates. Speaking of getting the band back together, Golden Bulls makes a second appearance with his buddies from the class of 92. Ryan Higgs, the Neville brothers, Paul Scholes and Bex are calling the shots at Salford City who sit in the third division of English football. Since the band took over in 2014, the Amis, the club's nickname literally meaning amateurs, have celebrated four promotions in five years. Maybe not so amateur when you have the backing of five legends of the game. Now speaking of legends in the sporting world, let's focus our attention on basketball turned football. NBA icon LeBron James is not just scoring on the court but also making plays with ownership stakes in Liverpool and AC Milan. The thing is, we can't be sure if he's ever watched a football game before as he's racked up a lot of attention lying for no reason, but the investments speak for themselves. Speaking of basketball royalty, NBA MVP Kevin Durant is not just a court commander, but also making moves as a minority owner with the Philadelphia Union. However, the Union were not Durant's first choice in terms of investing in an MLS club. Durant confirmed that he held talks last year with DC United, his hometown club. I wonder what's striking up the newfound interest in soccer across the pond. Staying on theme, from Hollywood hits to goals on the pitch, Michael B. Jordan is bringing his American star power to the UK as a co-owner of AFC Bonnemouth. This one might seem a little bizarre, as the Cherries aren't necessarily one of the biggest clubs in England that might gain the attention of a world-famous actor, but it is for that exact reason he invested. Having said, one reason I want to invest is that there was so much potential there. If you give to the community and you have new managers and new players, you can raise the culture of the team. It's exciting. Let's hope he can pull off the task he set himself. Now, breaking boundaries. Oscar winner Natalie Portman and tennis champion Serena Williams are making history as part of the star-studded ownership team for the women's team Angel City FC. Based in Los Angeles, it's not just a football club, it's a movement. Committed to equality, diversity and empowerment, Angel City aims to redefine what it means to be a football club. Natalie Portman, a vocal advocate for women's rights, and Serena Williams, a trailblazer in women's sports, are using their platform to champion not just football, but also social change. Their ownership goes beyond the pitch. Angel City FC is dedicated to fostering community engagement, supporting local initiatives and promoting inclusivity within the sport. From the glitz of Los Angeles to the gridiron greatness of the NFL, we shift our focus to the legendary Tom Brady. Known for his unmatched success in American football, Brady has expanded his winning playbook as a co-owner of Birmingham, a city steeped in football history now has a new player in the game, Tom Brady. His ownership is not just about victories on the field, but also about building a lasting legacy for Birmingham FC. In a similar spirit to Angel City FC, Tom Brady is not just a team owner, he's investing in the community, supporting initiatives that go beyond the beautiful game. 
As from the global stage to the heart of the UK, we have Louis Tomlinson, the pop sensation scoring big as the proud owner of Doncaster Rovers. Doncaster, with its rich football tradition, has found a new captain in Louis Tomlinson. His ownership is not just about fame, but also a genuine love for the beautiful game. Following in the footsteps of Tom Brady in Birmingham, Louis Tomlinson is bringing his own brand of star power to Doncaster, shaping the future of the club and leaving an impact beyond the pitch. Now from the charm of Doncaster, our journey takes us to the enchanting story unfolding at Wrexham AFC, where Hollywood royalty meets football history. Enter Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. Wrexham, a club with a storied past, found itself under new leadership when Reynolds and McElhenney took the reins. With a history dating back to 1864, Wrexham AFC holds a special place in football folklore. But the story doesn't end on the pitch. Reynolds and McElhenney turned heads by announcing a unique behind-the-scenes Disney Plus series, providing fans an unprecedented look into the daily life of a football club. The impact isn't just felt on screen. It's transforming the club's financial landscape. Wrexham has seen a surge in sponsorship deals, creating a financial boost that is nothing short of remarkable. Reynolds and McElhenney's ownership has been a game changer, bringing not just celebrity glamour but also a strategic vision that has increased Wrexham's finances, allowing for new signings, improved facilities and an optimistic future. And speaking of transformations, we're not done yet. A surprise owner is waiting in the wings, ready to add their own touch to the fact fascinating world of celebrity football club ownership. Stay tuned for the grand reveal. Brace yourselves as we unveil a true queen of the game, a global icon who once held the reins of a football giant. Rangers FC, a powerhouse in Scottish football, had a brush with pop royalty when the one and only Madonna took the centre stage as an owner. Madonna's ownership brought a touch of glamour to the pitch, and her influence extended beyond the stands. During her time, Rangers FC experienced a blend of style, success and a unique chapter in its illustrious history. From unforgettable matches to iconic celebrations, Madonna's ownership left an indelible mark on Rangers FC. As we celebrate the rich tapestry of celebrity owners in football, Madonna's chapter in the beautiful game remains a shining moment. Is it purely a coincidence that Madonna and Maradona's names are so similar? I think not. And there you have it, a star-studded journey through the celebrity-owned football clubs. From Watford to Rangers, each owner has added their own flair to the beautiful game. Who knows what other surprises the world of football ownership holds? Leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Until next time, this is Onside Football signing off.